Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jennifer Abney and I'm Rob Macko. In many cities around the country, statues and memorials of Confederate leaders, generals and troops are being taken down as a result of the Black Lives Matter movement. And tonight you can add Charleston, West Virginia to that list. 13 News reporter Lily Bradley is live right now in Charleston's Ruffner Park with all the details. Lily. Well, Robin Jennifer, for almost 100 years, this monument behind me stood to honor the Kanawha Riflemen and Confederate Union unit during the Civil War. But today, this memorial was taken down by the city of Charleston, and not everyone was thrilled. But this monument went up in 1922. For 98 years, this monument stood in honor of the Kanawha Riflemen. But Monday, it was quietly removed from Ruffner Park to mixed reactions. These are markers to white supremacy that have stood virtually the entire lifetime of everyone living today. And it's a one fine day here in Charleston that it's finally come down. No public comment, no reaching out to, to groups that may have an interest in such a monument. The monument was dedicated in 1922 by the Kanawha Rifleman Chapter, United Daughters of the Confederacy in Ruffner Park. The park was previously the town cemetery during the Civil War. Shortly after the park was unveiled, uh, they installed the Confederate monument, and to do so, they uh, a, a few a few graves removed. Uh, they were from affluent families. Today, a few graves remain, but the land is currently owned by the city of Charleston. In a statement to 13 News, the city of Charleston claiming responsibility for the removal of the monument. Mayor Amy Goodwin's office saying, in part, it was the right thing to do to remove it. And so we did earlier today. A piece of local history is now it's only been removed with apparently no public comment and, and no public inquiry as to our feelings on it. Levin says he hopes the city will reconsider the removal of the plaques, while others are happy to see them gone and hope a different memorial could be put in its place. We'd love to see a project started and formed to actually bring those graves back. Now, we don't know exactly what time the monument was removed, but again, that decision coming from Mayor Amy Goodwin's office. For now, live in Charleston, I'm Lily Bradley, 13 News, working for you. Lily, thanks.